Blessed be your name. Honor to your name. Adoration to your name. In the name of Jesus. Who has believed our report? And to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? For he shall grow up before him as a tender plant and as a root out of dry ground. He has no form nor comeliness and when we shall see him there is no beauty that we should desire him he's despised and rejected of men a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief and we hid as it were our faces from him he was despised and we esteemed him not surely he had borne our griefs and carried our sorrows yet we did esteem him stricken smitten of God and afflicted but he was wounded for our transgressions he was bruised for our iniquities the chastisement of our peace was upon him and with his stripes we are healed all we like sheep have gone astray we have turned everyone to his own way and the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all Oh, he was oppressed and he was afflicted. Yet he opened not his mouth. He's brought as a lamb to the slaughter and as a sheep before her shearers is dumb. So he opened not his mouth. He was taken from prison and from judgment. And who shall declare his generation? For he was cut off out of the land of the living. For the transgression of my people was his stricken. He made his grave with the wicked and with the rich and dead. Because he had done no violence, neither was any deceit in his mouth. Yet it pleased the Lord to bruise him. He had put him to grief. When thou shalt make his soul an offering for sin, he shall see his seed. He shall prolong his days. And the pleasure of the Lord shall prosper in his hand. The Lord bless his word in Jesus' name. And all the way to Calvary, he went for me. He went for me, he went for me, all the way to Calvary, he went for me, he died to set me free, all the way to Calvary. He went for me, he went for me, he went for me, all the way to Calvary, he went for me, he died to save. Sing it one more time All the way to Calvary He went for me My Savior went for me Jesus went subject this morning is it is finished and this morning our objective is to understand the finished work of Calvary John chapter 19 verse 30 in addition to what we have read before when Jesus therefore had received the vinegar he said, it is finished. And he bowed his head and gave up the ghost. The greatest blessing that ever happened to humanity 
was the blessing of the cross. We have a book titled The Blessing of the Bleeding. The blessing of his bleeding. The power in the death and shed blood of Jesus Christ. He bled that we be blessed. The cross was a crossover for humanity where humanity crossed over from disaster to distinction. The cross was a crossover for humanity. When humanity crossed over from calamity to possibility, the cross was the place of exchange where we took up his strength as we surrendered our weakness. I wouldn't be holding this mic now to preach without it, if not for the cross. We wouldn't be seated here this morning if not for the cross. Very quickly. What did Jesus carry on the cross? That is to show you what to believe for. It's all there in Isaiah chapter 53 where we read. I'm going to enumerate them, not necessarily in the order in which it came in the scripture here. Number one, he carried our transgression, our iniquity. He carried our trans, he carried man's transgression. What would have taken us to hell? He carried it. Number two, he carried our affliction and infirmity by his stripes we were healed number three he carried our oppression and captivity Anything that is the reason for bondage. This is the realm of curses, ancestral curses, generational curses, witchcraft curses. He carried. That was number. Three. Number four, he carried our rejection and inferiority. He was the man rejected so that we can become the people accepted. The Bible said we are now accepted in the beloved. Any man or woman that is purchased by the blood of Jesus is inferior to nobody under heaven. This is the deadly blow to inferiority complex. The deadly blow to the spell of rejection. Number five. He carried our frustration. He carried our frustration. He carried. 
carried our frustration and depression. Nobody has the right to remain with the spell of depression because of Calvary. He was the man of sorrow so that we can be people of joy, frustration, and depression. Number seven, six, he carried our grief and pains, our griefs and pains. This attacks the cycle of continuous grief around your life. He has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. Whatever is the cause of grief in your life, in our lives, around your vicinity, he carried our grief and our pains. Is the Lord speaking to anybody? Say amen. amen. Number seven, he carried our deprivation and scarcity. Deprivation, scarcity, empty handedness. That is in that scripture as well as Revelation chapter 5, verse 12. Saying with a loud voice, Worthy is the Lamb. That was slain to receive power and riches and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and blessing. Somebody say it loud, Amen. One of the reasons why he was slain is to receive for us riches and blessing. Today, I decree everyone under the spell of scarcity and empty handedness in this Easter season, that spell is broken. Everyone under the spell of scarcity and shortage on this Groot Friday, that spell is broken. Everyone under the spell of empty handedness in this season, that spell is broken. If you are saying amen, say a louder amen. If you are saying amen, say the loud most amen. 2 Corinthians chapter 8 verse 9 For you know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ that though he was rich yet for your sakes he became poor that you through his poverty might be rich. Deprivation and empty handedness. Number 8 He carried premature death he died young for man to live long Hebrews chapter 2 and in verse 9 but to see Jesus who was made a little lower than the angels 
for the suffering of death crowned with glory and honor that he by the grace of God should taste death for every man. What does it mean to taste it so you don't taste premature death? To taste death for every man. Everything that wants to take you out of this life before time or take your loved ones and your precious ones out of this life before time today that agenda is cancelled if you are saying amen say a louder amen if you are saying amen shout the Lord most amen hallelujah Jesus went all the way for this and more we cannot go all through all of it this is summary and then at the end of the day in John 19 verse 30 he said it is finished it is finished it is finished what is the meaning of it is finished I looked at it up in the Greek teleo t-e-l-e-o and among other things three meanings of this word stand out finish their means ended brought to a close brought to an end ended What, what is ended? I finished the devil. I finished the enemy of mankind. I ended his rule and his tenure. I ended his agenda. I finished with the powers of witchcraft. I finished with the powers of the occult. I finished with demonic powers. I am here to announce to someone every devil that has been after your life and your family, every witch and every wizard, every occult power, every power from hell after you, after me, after the body of Christ, after this church, every power from hell after your destiny today they are confirmed finished by the power of calvary they are confirmed finished it is like what moses told the egyptian the israelites at the at the red sea the the pharaoh you saw today the egyptians you saw before today I announce to you, you shall see them today forever no more. After this service this morning, every witch, every wizard, every force of hell, every power of darkness that will not let you rest shall be laid to rest. Say a louder amen. Say the loudmost amen. Say amen at the top of your voice. At the top of your voice, scream, it is finished. Loudest, it is finished. Say that devil is finished. That witch is finished. That wizard is finished. That power of darkness is finished. And I announce in the name of Jesus before this week is out. This week is out under the next 24 hours. Before this week is out. Before the Easter season is out. Any power from hell that will not let you rest shall be laid to rest. Somebody shout, it is finished.
take your seat in the presence of the Lord. That devil is finished. Now, number two, it is finished means completed, executed, concluded, implemented. Completed, executed, com concluded, implemented. That is, my father sent me on an assignment. My father sent me on an agenda to deal with the devil. I finished with the devil. The agenda he sent me for concerning the redemption of mankind, concerning the rescue of human destiny, that agenda is completed, that agenda is executed, that agenda is concluded, that agenda is implemented. Do you know the meaning of that for you? There is nothing left concerning your destiny that has not been handled. There is nothing left concerning God's purpose for your life that has not been handled. There is nothing left concerning God's plan for your life, for my life, for this church that has not been handled. If you understand what I am saying, you will, you will explode with celebration. You will explode with celebration. There is nothing left concerning the plan of God for your life. God is not about to do something for you now. He did it already on Calvary. He did it 2,000 years ago. What you are looking forward to, God is looking back at, is already concluded. Somebody say completed, implemented, executed, concluded completed concluded implemented executed completed executed concluded implemented say my destiny matters they have been completed executed concluded implemented when he said it is finished there is no room left for it to be continued. Not to be continued. Not to be continued. It is finished. What you are to become in this world was completed before you were born. Before I formed you, I knew you. Before you came forth, I ordained you. Somebody say completed. Marital matters completed. Financial matters completed. Health matters completed. Deliverance matters completed. Hey! Managayata lata freto soto I announce today what Jesus has completed for you shall be manifested in this season. You have the right to lay hold on it in this season. You have the right to lay hold on things in this season. Lord, this is the season in which my matters were completed at Calvary. I make demands on them. I demand that they manifest now. My issues were completed, executed, implemented, concluded at Calvary. I make demands on their manifestation now. I make demands on their realization now. Somebody say completed executed concluded implemented completed executed concluded implemented if you can take this revelation then somebody under the next six months you would have been settled maritally under the next seven months eight months then under the next one year the matter that has troubled you all this while would have been handled is God speaking to somebody here you have been carrying your children in your hands under the next one year. Somebody say completed, executed, concluded, implemented. Help me tell three people like that. Any of the word you remember, completed, executed, concluded, implemented. Everything about your life, about your destiny, about your future has been completed, executed, concluded, implemented, completed, 
executed, concluded, implemented. Can you give the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords a clap, a shout, a leap of joy? You don't get results only because it is written. You get results when it is revealed. There are many things God has done for us, but you are not aware, so it doesn't happen for you. The secret things belong to God, but once they are revealed, they belong to us. Am I communicating? So, so, so you may be saying, but Jesus died all this while. Why didn't I see my result? Because you didn't know. You are not aware that it is completed, executed. You are still looking forward to a result that has happened in the past. You are asking for money that is already in the bank. All you need to do is to write the check and cash it. <laughs> hey! Hey! My, yeah, 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 yeah. Look at your neighbor, say, cash it today. Cash it today. Cash it today. It's already there. Cash it. That is why you are here today. Because it is finished. It is completed. It is executed. It is concluded. It is implemented. You are going to pray shortly. But lift your hands and your voice and say, Father, thank you because the matters of my life, of my destiny, they are completed. They've been executed. They've been concluded. They've been implemented. Thank you, Father, because the matters of my life, of my destiny, they have been completed. They've been implemented. They've been concluded. Shout the loudest, amen. Give the Lord a big clap and a shout of praise. Be seated. What is the meaning of it is finished? Coincidentally, or incidentally, the third meaning of it is very insightful. It means discharged as in a debt that was what, what was written in the margin and, uh, and that means discharged bracket a debt like that's the debt discharged it also means paid up paid up paid up paid up What is it that has been paid up? Any debt that the devil claim I own him, I owe him. Paid up. Remember the song? I owe the debt I couldn't pay. Whereas he paid the debt he didn't owe. The Bible says the wages of sin is debt. Let's put the screen. Put the, 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 the lyrics. I needed someone before that line. Hey, do you know? I owe the debt I, I could not pay. pay. I, I needed, needed someone. someone. To wash my sins away And now I can Sing with a new song Amazing grace Lord Jesus paid a debt That I could never pay Oh, that's right. He paid that debt. When he said it is finished on Calvary, it means paid up. Cleared. Obligation nullified. 
whatever the devil expects you to pay because of the iniquity of Adam, I cleared it. Debt cancellation. It is in the same way that we now say, I owe the devil nothing. Somebody say louder, amen. amen. Lift your right and say, it is paid up. My debts are clear. Obligation canceled. I owe the devil nothing. I owe the witches nothing. I owe hell nothing. Say, I owe the devil nothing. I owe hell nothing. I owe the kingdom of darkness nothing. Jesus paid my debt. And I am free right now. Lift your, your voice. Say, I owe the devil nothing. I owe the devil nothing. I owe darkness nothing. I am free. I am free. In those days, they shall say no more. The fathers have eaten a sour grape. Jeremiah 31, 29. And the children's feet are set on edge. But everyone shall die for his own iniquity. Every man that eateth the sour grape, it is that one's feet that shall be set on edge. Cleared, discharged, paid up. Anything for forefathers did with the devil is not my concern. Paid up, cleared out. Anything the devil, that is why he said the enemy shall not exact upon him. Neither shall the son of wickedness afflict him. Why? Because it is paid up. Any record the devil is keeping is useless. Hey! Will you stand up and shout the loudest? Amen. Look at the neighbor say it is useless record. Can I tell you why? Colossians chapter 2, verse 13. And you been dead in your sins and the uncircumcision of your flesh has he quickened together with him having forgiven all, you all what trespasses now what and, and then the next thing is blotting out the record the handwriting of ordinances that was against us which was contrary to us he took it out of the way nailing it to his cross having spoiled principalities and powers he made a show of them openly triumphing over them look at your neighbor say no record say you have a clean bill no record no record in your past in your present can stand against your future as you are following Jesus and living for him no record he paid the debt and taught the evidence he paid the debt and deleted the record I don't know what you have done in time past that the devil is bringing up all the time. Somebody say record cleared. Even if you were a witch before and you have decided to be dewitched, your previous record of witchcraft activity cancelled. Somebody say a loud amen. amen. Are you excited? Yes, that it is finished? Yes, that you are, you are dealing with a finished devil? Yes, that God has executed and implemented everything about your life? Yes, are you excited? Yes, that you owe the devil nothing? Yes, 
that the debt has been paid. If you are excited, then you shout, it is finished. Shout it loudest, it is finished. At the top of your voice, shout, it is finished. Remain standing. Matthew chapter 11, verse 28. What do you do? Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and you shall find rest unto your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Come to me and drop everything that you have been carrying so you can find rest. Drop your sin. Help her there. Drop your sin. Drop, drop everything. And I will help you. That is all that is requested. You don't continue to live like you have lived before, offending God. Drop everything. And so we're going to do those eight things right now. After which, we'll deal with the, it is finished and then we'll take off. Lift up your hands. First of all, thank him for his word to you tonight, today. Thank you for his word to you. Thank you for his word to you today. Mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning, new every morning. Great is the faithful. Lift your two hands high. They are new every morning. New every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. All I Great is thy faithfulness. Lift your hands, but take the first one. Say, Father, you took my transgression. I come to surrender. I come to surrender. I ask that you pardon me everywhere I have erred, everywhere I have sinned, wherever I have fallen short. I need mercy now in Jesus' name. Open your mouth and pray place them one by one finish one you go to two open your mouth and pray forgive my sins forgive my guilt
in the name of Jesus. Say after me, Lord Jesus, I surrender my infirmities today. I cannot be sick. I cannot be weak. I cannot be afflicted because Jesus on Calvary took my sicknesses, took my afflictions, took my pains. I cannot be sick. I cannot be weak. I cannot be afflicted. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Pray, 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 pray. Pray, 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 pray. I reject every spirit of infirmity. If there is a sickness, Go ahead and pray. I drop every affliction, every infirmity in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Lift your hands and say, Father, Father, I reject, I reject every, curse, every curse, every bondage, every, bondage, every, oppression, every oppression, every captivity, every captivity on, my life, on my life, around my life, around my life I, reject I reject it. Every ancestral curse, every, every generational curse, every, generation every family curse, every family curse and covenant. And covenant. Today, Today, I reject, I refuse, I refuse. now. now. Open your mouth and pray. By the blood of Jesus, I am free. I am free. I am free. I reject oppression. I reject captivity. Let us Say after me, say, I reject rejection. I reject rejection. I cannot be rejected. I, be rejected. I am a chosen generation, a, chosen generation. a royal priesthood, a, priest. a, a holy nation, made in the image of God. Image of God. I, am I am not inferior. I cannot be inferior, I be inferior. by the power. 
power of the cross of Calvary. I reject the spell of rejection now. Open your mouth and pray. I reject the spell of rejection. I reject the power of inferiority. In Jesus, precious name. Say, I reject depression. I reject, depression. I reject the spell of frustration. Spell of in, frustration. The in the name of Jesus. Depression is not my portion. Frustration is not my portion. Labor without reward is not my portion. By the power of Calvary, I connect with the garment of celebration. I connect with the power of success, productivity, results. In the name of Jesus. 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 Open your mouth and pray. I reject frustration. I reject depression. In the name of Jesus, say I reject grief. I reject grief and every form of pain. Every, form of pain. every cycle every of sorrow of sorrow in my life, in my, life. In my family. In my family. Every cycle, every cycle of sorrow, of sorrow in, the church, in the church, in dunamis, in dunamis. every cycle every of cycle sorrow, of sorrow in, Nigeria, in Nigeria, in our nation, in our nation. Every, cycle every cycle of sorrow, of sorrow. every cycle every of, cycle pain, of pain, pain by the power by the of the blood, the blood that flow at Calvary. Calvary. You cycle, you are broken. Open your mouth and pray. Every cycle of grief, every cycle of pain, every cycle of sorrow in my life, in my family, in our nation, in Nigeria, cycle, you are broken. You are broken. You are broken. You are broken. Every cycle of sorrow, every cycle of grief, every cycle of pain, you are broken. Cycle of sorrow, cycle of grief, cycle of pain, you are broken. Let's hold it up. Salamaranish, let us the friend of let the peregrine in the name of Jesus. Say after me, say in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus I, reject I reject every spell, every spell of scarcity, scarcity empty-handedness, empty -handedness, poverty, 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 bankruptcy, bankruptcy deprivation, deprivation, every garment every of, wretchedness, of wretchedness by the power, by the power of, the cross, of the cross, you are destroyed. You are destroyed. In the name of Jesus, Jesus I reject, reject empty-handedness, wretchedness, poverty. poverty. I reject, I reject now. Open your mouth and pray. Yes. Man, shut up. Yes. 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 
Say in the name of Jesus. On this to say, I reject premature death for my life, for my life, for my family, for anybody connected, related, associated with me, with the church, with this church. Premature death, your tenure expires by the blood of Jesus that flowed, that was shed on Calvary. Premature death, you are gone forever. Open your mouth and pray. Jesus precious name. Amen. Finally, say it is finished. It is finished. Say, Father, Father, I thank you. I thank you because the devil, because the devil is ended. Is ended. Say, Father, Father, I thank you, I thank you because every power, because every power of, hell, of hell after my life after my and life, my destiny, my destiny has, been has, been has been brought to an end. They are ended. They are ended. Now, now, open your mouth and pray. Ended. 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 Every power of hell after my life ended. 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 Brought to an end. In the name of Jesus. Say after me, say, Father, Father thank you. Thank you. Because every plan, because every plan and, purpose and purpose you have for me, you have for me. My, destiny my destiny is completed, is completed executed, executed, concluded, concluded implemented. implemented. Everything, Everything you have in mind have for, my life, for my life, for my destiny, my destiny for the church, for dynamis. Father, Father, thank you. Thank you. Because they are completed, they are completed executed, executed, concluded, concluded implemented. implemented. I take delivery. I take delivery. 
of what is completed, executed, implemented for my life, for my family, for the church, for dynamis. I take delivery now. Open your mouth and pray. I take delivery. I take the lead of what is completed, executed, concluded, implemented. I take the lead. I take the lead. I take the lead. Let the red take us out of Let the red take us out of the land. Let the red take us out of the land. Let the red take us out of the in Jesus name finally say after me say father father I am discharged and acquitted from every obligation to the enemy. Every debt is paid up, cleared out from today by the power of the blood of Jesus from Calvary. I decree, I announce, I pronounce that I owe the devil nothing. I owe the devil nothing. I owe the devil nothing. My record is clear, clean by the blood of Jesus. Up your mother pray. In Jesus precious name the Lord has answered in Jesus name Amen. lift your hands and your, your voices and let's appreciate him let's honor him father we worship you we honor you we adore you go ahead appreciate him and get ready to receive what Calvary has for you this morning And bodies are lifted at Calvary. 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 Burdens are lifted at Calvary. Jesus is very near. But 
Gardens. I lived there at Calvary. Calvary. Lift your hands and begin to appreciate it because your bodies are lifted. And bodies are lifted. Mashata kala gagada. Ka.
Lift your hands. Lift up your hands everywhere you are. And in her cross, in her cross, be my glory. your hands out. His presence is here this moment to release for you what Calvary has purchased for you. Lift your hands. To release for you what Calvary has purchased for you. All you need is receive what Calvary has purchased for you. Lift your hand. Father, I ask that you'll take away every rejection, the guilt of sin, of previous sins, every affliction, every oppression, every captivity, every disease, every garment of pain, every garment of sorrow, frustration, depression, grief, pain, Every garment of scarcity and shortage and deprivation. The spell of premature death. You carry it away, Lord. Father, let it be that today it is all over. Finished devil. Let it be a concluded finished witchcraft. Finished powers of the occult. Father, let it be completed. Let your agenda that was, was completed, concluded and perfected, be released for your son for your daughter right here. Let it be clear that the debt has been paid and we owe the devil nothing. In the name of Jesus. Lift your hands high. In the name of Jesus and at the count of three, you scream, I receive, and place the hand on your, head, on your head. And what are you receiving? You are receiving what Calvary has purchased for you. You are receiving your righteousness. You are receiving your healing your deliverance, your liberty, 
You are receiving your sup supernatural supplies. You are receiving your lease of life. You are, you are receiving longevity. You are receiving the fulfillment of your days. You are receiving the establishment of the plan and the purpose of God for your life. Lift your two hands high and receive it now. Father, let your power flow. Let your oil flow. Let, your, let the benefits of Calvary be released. Are you ready? In the name of Jesus, on the count of three, you will receive it. Father, let it be. In the name of Jesus, one, two, and three. Receive. 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 Receive it now. Receive. 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 Thank you, Master. Thank 